All right, you guys, it's the one and only Mashiach Ben Joseph here again. I just, uh, I've made videos about stuff similar to this in the past, but I was just laying here getting ready for bed, and uh, Papa Yahweh suggested something to me and asked me to make a video and point it out to you guys so you can understand. All right. Now, if you remember, in the very beginning of the Bible, Genesis 3, basically it's the story about the eating from the tree, Adam and Eve eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil and stuff like that, and uh, the devil tempting them and stuff like that. And basically it's the first lesson of the Bible that talks about how uh, there is an evil being on this planet, and it tries to corrupt and twist God's words and to corrupt and ruin humanity. And, uh, yeah, but anyway, in Genesis 3.15, it says, And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head, and you will strike his heel. All right? So basically, what that basically says is that one day there would be a, a redeemer who crushes the head of the devil, which basically implies killing the devil or destroying the devil. And then uh, before that, though, you will strike his heel or his foot. All right. And then you go on to Isaiah 53, verses 4 and 5. And it says, Surely he took up, took up our pain and bore our suffering. Yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. And what that basically means is that even though it says up in here, that the devil will strike his heel and stuff like that, and that the devil would be destroying his life, that we considered him punished by God, basically suggesting that in these times that humanity would believe that the devil is God, all right, and that, the, that all bad things happening are God's fault, according to the modern man, all right? And then it goes on to say, but he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. All right. So basically it talks about in the beginning that there would be a future redeemer who destroys the devil, and the devil would do something to his foot. All right. And then it goes on to say he would be pierced and crushed. All right. And that suggests that possibly it could mean that the devil would strike his heel in some way and that would result in the foot being crushed and pierced. And my foot here, I swear to God, if you look, it's all reconstructed and the toes are missing and everything because it was crushed in a, in a, in a machine. And uh, I have to wear a bandage because uh, it's almost totally healed. But for like decades, I've had... A hole in the foot there, a hole going into the foot, which is basically where it was pierced. All right. So my foot was crushed and pierced. All right. And if you watch my other videos, the cloud videos and stuff like that, you'll see that there it really is like Daniel seven coming with the clouds of heaven, where God creates signs in the clouds for me to answer questions and stuff like that. So it really is, like, I swear to God, I really am the Mashiach Ben Joseph. And if you go on further in Isaiah 53, 12, it, it rambles on for a second and then says, For he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. Transgressors, All right? And that kind of suggests that f for us, he was bearing a ton. All right, for us, bearing ton. And he's the Messiah, which in Greek is Christos. So Christos for us, bearing ton. And Christophorus Barrington is Christopher Barrington. All right, and remember, he's bearing all this grisly shit, these horrors and stuff like that, and all these crimes against him. So it's like a grisly bear. And that sounds like grisly bear. And the place known. The, the place named after the grizzly bear is a place called Kelowna in Canada. In the Okanagan language, it's called Kelowna. It means grizzly bear. And that's what this is. So it's Christopher Barrington of Kelowna. Would have his, uh, the devil would strike his heel, and then it would result in being crushed and pierced. 
Like, it's, tr it's a true story. Papa Yahweh just told me to point that out to you for some reason, even though I've made similar videos in the past. But that's honest to God. Like, it's the truth. Like, that's what he's trying to suggest, is that this stuff has all been known for thousands of years of what what would happen here in these time periods, and that uh, the real... Redeemer who would destroy the devil and stuff like that is actually Mashiach ben Joseph, the, the son of Joseph. And remember in, uh, I think it was Genesis 49, where it talks about the prophecies, where uh, Jacob talks about the prophecies of the blessings of his sons and says that the crown would be on the head of him that was, that would be, uh, or that uh, when, it, when, when talking about the blessings of Joseph, it talks about how the crown would be of, on the head of him, separate from his brothers, from his brethren, or separate from everyone else, which suggests in these times where, you know, the the the, uh, the suffering servant of Isaiah fifty three or the Mashi the the Messiah Ben Joseph is actually the suffering servant of Isaiah fifty three, where it talks about in certain verses how he was uh, despised and rejected, and you know separate from everyone else, just like in Genesis 49, where it talks about, uh, yeah. So there's not, apparently there's not going to ever be a Mashiach ben David, and that was outlined in the very beginning of the Bible in Genesis 49, where it says that leadership would be upon David, the house of David, until, or, or the house of Judah, until the Shiloh comes, or the Messiah comes, which means that, obviously that means that they're not going to be a king from the house of Judah in, uh, in the end. So, anyway, there you go. That's what Papa Yahweh asked me to show you. So, there you go.